Bank of America Tower, also known as One Bryant Park, is a 1200 feet skyscraper in the Midtown area of Manhattan in New York City. It is located on Avenue of the Americas between 42nd and 43rd Streets. The owners are One Bryant Park LLC, Bank of America, and the Durst Organization. Its construction was completed in 2009. The developer was the Durst Organization, while the architect was Cook Fox Architects and the structural engineer was Severed Associates Consulting Engineers. The main contractor selected was Tishman Construction. It was the first high-rise building to achieve LEED Platinum Certification. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, and earning a LEED certification means earning a sustainable stamp of approval. So in the LEED world, that comes in the form of a plaque. An owner can earn different levels of the plaque, whose levels vary from certified, that comes with 40 to 49 points, silver with 50 to 59 points, gold with 60 to 79 points, and the highest one is platinum, that can be achieved with 80 to 110 points. The way that owners are able to earn the higher levels of certification depends on how many credits they pursue. In other words, how many sustainable strategies they implement either in the design or in construction or in the operation of a building. The LEED certification categories are water efficiency, materials and resources, energy and atmosphere, indoor environmental quality, and sustainable sites. Now within each one of these categories, there are prerequisites that the owners must obtain and there are credits which are optional. The more credits are pursued and acquired, the higher the LEED certification. The project used 35% recycled material in the construction and recycled 85% of construction and demolition debris. The cement in the building consisted of 45% blast furnace slag, keeping more than 52,000 tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And more than 20% of the construction material used in the Bank of America Tower were sourced from within a 500 mile radius. The Bank of America Tower houses its own cogeneration plant which is about three times as efficient as a conventional power generation plant. It captures the heat it generates and puts it back to work, converting it to energy that's used to heat and cool the building. Higher ceilings and translucent insulating glass in floor to ceiling windows permit maximum daylight in interior spaces and optimal views, while daylight dimming and LED lights reduce electrical usage. The cooling is provided by Underfloor ducts by cooling air to just 65 degrees instead of 55 degrees in conventional office spaces where, which have overhead ducts. At floor level, incoming fresh air does not recirculate airborne germs. They collect, then exit with warm air through re the return vents in the ceiling. And floor mounted vents can be individually controlled, accommodating preferences for a warmer or cooler works. Piping coolant through ice allows to air condition the building. By making their own ice at night for use for the next day, they reduce power usage during peak demand times, and hence lessening strain on the fragile city grid. Healthy air is critical to a comfortable and productive workplace. Interior material like paints, carpets, adhesives, and furniture, etc. were selected to avoid products that give off volatile organic compounds. And 95% of the dust, dirt, and particulates are filtered from the air that enters the Bank of America Tower. Also, carbon dioxide monitors automatically adjust the amount of fresh air when necessary. In restrooms, each flush of a typical urinal sends a gallon of otherwise potable water down the drain. By installing waterless urinals in the building, 3.4 million gallons of water is conserved every year, which is enough to fill five Olympic-sized swimming pools. This, along with rainwater collection, conserves 17 million gallons of potable water each year. They have installed green roof that along with four storage tanks collect 69,000 gallons of rain. This is filtered and used as gray water for cooling the building and flushing the toilets. Water is collected and filtered from all the sinks and is put back to work in toilets, reducing the need to pipe in potable water. In New York City, collecting rain is critical because typically Rainwater washes into the sewer system and ends up at a sewage treatment plant. 
When rainfall exceeds, it overwhelms the plant's capacity to treat it. The overflow, which is a mixture of rainwater and sewage, is dumped untreated into the rivers and harbor. Green roof and rainwater storage tanks absorb the rain, slow the runoff, and help keep the harbor clean. And stormwater contribution is reduced by 95%. Also, green roofs reduce the urban heat island effect. Green architecture creates high-performance buildings that operate at optimum efficiency with reduced environmental impact. Green buildings enhance the health and productivity of the tenants and have become a powerful economic stimulus for owners and occupants alike.